Hi, welcome to the Excel Ash Challenge 2021. In this year's challenge, 18 Excel MVPs from different parts of the world are coming together to show us how to integrate different ingredients in Excel to create a meaningful report or result. So I'm going to encourage you to watch all the videos from these Excel MVPs, to comment and also vote. Listed out here, we have to use the even function, the cutout processing, stock image, and any of these lambda, let, power query data type, or dynamic arrays functions. So let's see what I have in stock for us. Now my data set is in access database, so I need to connect. So just uncollapse the ribbon tab and come to the get data from database from Microsoft Access Database. So I click on Excel challenge. In the navigator dialog box, I click on data and I can actually see the preview of the data set. So click on transform data, which opens the power query. Okay, so I want to transform this to proper date data type. So just right click and choose change data type and I want date. And that's all. Click on close and load. I want to close and load to a table. Now in this import data, table is fine and I want a new worksheet. So I click on OK. Our data is ready in Excel. Now let's see how to build our report. So I'm going to just close this, queries and connect. I'm going to show you total sales by region and brand. Therefore, type in brand for slash region. And in cell I2, I'm going to deploy sort and unique DA functions, equal sign, sort, unique. And for the array, I want to return the unique value for the brand list. So close, close, control, enter. So we have the list of the brand. Let's do the same thing for the region. Equal sign, transpose, sort, and at the same time, I want the unique. And I want to select the region, close, close, close for the three functions, control, enter. So we have all the regions sorted in ascending order. Next, I'm going to show you the let function, which is one of the ingredients required also, including the DA functions. So equal sign in cell J2, let. And for my let, I need some parameters. So I'm going to just say my brand comma and i select the value in cell i1 f4 key one two three comma my region comma and select the j1 f4 key one two and that's fine comma so i need my calc or for my calculation comma now i'm going to introduce yet another da function the filter function so filter press my tab key for the array i want to return the sys amount comma and for the include argument now because we have two criteria for the brand and the region open parenthesis and i want to check the many sides for the brand is it equal to my region my brand rather close and for the and operation or operator use the asterisk sign open parenthesis and i want to check my region the many sides is it equals to my region parameter okay and I close, close the filter, and then we are back to let, comma, then I deploy the sum, and for the sum, I want my calc to be summed. Close the sum and close the let, control, enter. Now, control shift four to apply the specified currency in your region settings, and then we get rid of the decimals. Now, I'm going to run everything inside the if error, because I'm actually expecting some cells not to have values, so comma. So what do I want? If error, I want zero. Close parenthesis, control enter, control C to copy the value, select the range, control V. Absolutely cool. Then we can expand the columns. Now you can actually see that we have meaningful you know, results. And for this cell, for example, we do not have any record. And that's why we use the if error to undo the expected calc error. Now, this is just one part. Next one. I'm going to show you how to factor the even function. Now, for this, I'm going to wrap it inside yet another ingredient, which is the lambda function. Now, let me just show you something quickly. Come here, equal sign, lambda. <clears throat> and I want for my parameter just x, 
and just expand both to this so i can see clearly comma now what do i want i want to check this value is it equals to even press my um tab key and i select the cell again now close the even and when i close the lambda i need to recall that so open parentheses and i select the cell e2 which has the structured reference nomenclature close parenthesis control enter now this returned true because this number is actually an even number now when i just copy down then you can actually see now this number nine is odd number and 15 9 and the rest so we have the false for the odd and the true for the even and this is working fine f2 to open up the formula ctrl a to select ctrl c escape now let's deploy alt f3 rather to open the name manager let's create our custom function new function and i'm going to call this one my cf for conditional formatting and for the reference I'm just going to paste this and get rid of this section and close or click enter so we have our custom function created now close that let me just get rid of this and the um, styles come to the power query design and for the styles let's clear all and let's just apply something uh, meaningful here on tab in here let's just apply this and we want our text to be white okay so i'm just going to select all the data look for this diagonal cross arrow and then come to the conditional formatting and we want to set a new rule and in new rule we want to use a formula click on that and in this formula where the formula is true press f3 to bring the paste name double click on my custom function now i need to actually set my format because when i try to open parentheses it doesn't work so so click on format and then let's apply a fill color let's use something not too pronounced so i click on ok and then we are back here open parentheses and then i can actually select this value in cell e2 f4 key one two so that we can lock down the column e not the row two close parenthesis okay and then we have all the even number formatted absolutely cool so all the odd numbers are not formatted so this is how to use the even function as part of the ingredients now the last one i'm going to show you is the how to use the um, cut out process now let me just create a total row here so come to cells and i want total so over here let me just put in total and I select all this empty cell, alt equal, and we have all the values for all our regions. Now let's just do um, percentage by total. Okay, now for the percentage, equal sign, get this value, divide by the sum of all my totals, close, enter, come to this percentage, 34%. Now, and the total. And then let's put it in the middle. Now let's grab our cut out. Okay, let me just get this one out. Let me just cut here anyway. Control X so that we can have a more bigger space. Okay, so get this ready. Now what I want to do is to get the cut out person. So I come to the insert tab of the ribbon, and in the illustrations, I click on pictures. And we have the stock images then I click on cut out people and then I can actually choose uh, which one I want okay so come to the insert tab of the ribbon and click on text I will need a text box so let's just have one here and then come to ship format I want just a bigger weight okay and then let's just apply some little formatting to that let's make it to be bold let's center and middle align and let's increase the font size now to get our percentage by total but for each of the regions just click in the formula bar equal sign and i click on cell b8 enter 
and we have this ready let's just increase the font size and then I can actually copy this and paste okay and of course paste and finally we paste so what I'm going to do is just to change this come here get rid of this and um, let's make it to be 9 okay click on C8 enter and then let's do the same thing here B8 for the south region and then do column B8 okay let's just get this straight away enter and then we can increase the font size to be more pronounced okay all right so this is actually what i have in stock for all so i think i've been able to show how to integrate the different ingredients to create something meaningful i hope you enjoy it if you do you know, let's hear from you and as i said please ensure you watch all the videos from other excel mdp thank you and bye for now cheers